All right, one of the things I wanted to show you today is openculture.com, especially their free K-12 educational resources. In some of these um, links, they might take you like nowhere or they might take you to some ads, but um, but there's also a lot of free educational materials in here and you just have to kind of poke around a little bit. One of the places over here, here's the essentials, 1,200 free online courses, 1,000 MOOCs, um, free movies, free audiobooks, free eBooks. Um, the thing that I wanted to look at is the um, free audiobooks here. So let's look at that free audiobooks. And it says get free audiobooks from Audible or Audiobooks or just kind of keep going down here. Here's some fiction and literature areas. And if you just keep scrolling down, notice that some of them say free MP3, some of them say free stream. Um, I'm down here, I'm at uh, L. Frank Baum, Wizard of Oz. I could load them into iTunes or I can do the free MP3. So I'm going to click on free MP3. And as you look at this, it gives you some written information. And then it gives you links to the chapters. So if I clicked on introduction, I could download the audio and the passage PDF and a student activity that comes with it. I could also just click on the play button. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Introduction. Folklore, legends, myths, and fairy tales have followed childhood through the ages, for every healthy youngster has a wholesome and instinctive love for... That way students could read along or they could read and then listen to what that looked like. Let me bounce back one uh, link here and let's go to chapter one really quick. So there's uh, Wonderful Wizard of Oz, chapter one, The Cyclone. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, chapter one, The Cyclone. Dorothy lived in the midst of the great Kansas prairies with Uncle Henry, who was a farmer, and Aunt Em, who was the farmer's wife. Their house was small, for the lumber to build it had to be carried by wagon many miles. So you can see how that is kind of nice. Um, some of these are narrated by um, movie star type folks, and um, others are just, uh, you know, have a, a good solid reader. So hopefully that would be really helpful um, for some of your students. And I hope that you take a chance to kind of poke around open culture and see how that whole process might work for you.